this is not a trend that people, normal people, should be following. Anytime you get a UV, uh, an IV directly into the bloodstream, there's the possibility of infection. Namibians are increasingly turning to cosmetic and plastic surgery to improve the way they look and feel. Over the last three years, the health ministry has recorded an increase in cosmetic plastic surgery cases. 112 cases reported between 2018 to 2019, 119 from 2019 to 2020, and 127 cases from 2020 to 2021. In Namibia, more than 400 million Namibian dollars is spent every year on beauty products. Beauty transformations differ from person to person. They range from face wrinkle removals, breast reductions, tummy tucking, anti-aging procedures, and skin firming to vaginal treatments. Botox injections and breast adjustment surgery are probably among the two most commonly known procedures. A treatment that is popular at the moment and which is widely advertised is intravenous vitamin drips, known as IV. So vitamin drip uh, IV therapies have been around for many years, probably more than 25. Uh, Dr. Myers sort of invented them. Um, he started using them, that's why we call the Myers cocktail the Myers cocktail because he formulated it. We use it for anti-aging, we use it um, as support for energy, we use it for people who are overstressed, so prevention in terms of just staying healthy. We see a lot of athletes at our clinic because it really helps them because they deplete so fast when they're working. And then we're seeing a lot of young people who are really interested in preserving their youth and so they are uh, coming out and, and getting the vitamin drip. So the nutrients that we put in the IV are antioxidants. Uh, the number one antioxidant, glutathione, is our master antioxidant. And so it is mostly only available through intravenous. It's not well absorbed orally, so it's better to put into the IV and so it goes straight into your bloodstream. In the celebrity world, hooking up to vitamin-infused drip is par for the course for many. Vitamin drips may not be backed up by rigorous scientific evidence, but it hasn't stopped Namibian socialites such as Maria Nepembe, Robin Nakambo, Pombili Shilongo, Paul the Prince, and even Toivo Nugulu showing pictures of themselves on their social media pages receiving IV vitamin treatment. More recently, Nepembe put up a photo of herself on an IV drip on Instagram, telling her followers, the fear of the needle is real out here. The drips cost $1,550 a session and last for 30 minutes. So basically, people get this done with the aim, the main aim, as much as people want to lie, the main aim of getting the injections is basically having an even skin tone or sometimes people want to get extremely light or to the extreme of getting two, three, four, five, sometimes even six shades lighter than what they already are. Medical research shows that IV vitamin therapies can assist people with digestive disorders that prevent the proper absorption of nutrients. However, medical experts have warned that if IV vitamin therapy isn't prescribed by a doctor for a specific medical condition, it's likely unnecessary and possibly dangerous at worst. In 2018, Hollywood star Kendall Jenner was hospitalized after reacting badly to a Myra's cocktail IV drip. In the same year, the US Federal Trade Commission charged a chain of IV clinics for making false and deceptive claims that its products, including the Myers cocktail, could treat serious conditions like cancer, multiple sclerosis, and congestive heart failure. The commission said these claims could not be supported by competent and reliable scientific evidence. Now, the National Institute for Clinical Excellence in the UK has said that infusion of vitamins can potentially put the liver and kidneys under stress. For example, a 2017 study in the Journal of Clinic Oncology linked long-term intravenous B vitamin supplementation with an elevated risk of lung cancer among men. For decades, Namibia has only had three plastic 
and reconstructive surgeons. Indian-born Dr. Sonia Pandey at Velvetia Hospital in Valfus Bay. Cuban-born Dr. Kari Dad Lopez San Luis at Medipark in Ongwediva. And Dr. Kruger, who is Vinduk based The Namibian has established that the cost of surgical treatments ranges between 17,000 Namibian dollars to 48,000 Namibian dollars. Here's a cost breakdown of treatments. Breast reduction will cost you between 20,000 Namibian dollars and 45,000 Namibian dollars. You can get new breast implants for 40,000 Namibian dollars to about 55,000 Namibian dollars. Botox will cost you between 3 and 5,000 Namibian dollars. Permanent makeup costs 4,000 Namibian dollars. Buttock lifting, breast lifting, and hip dips cost $650 per session, while vaginal tightening is $4,000 Namibian dollars per session. Kruger, who has been practicing for 21 years, says the spectrum of her work is to fulfill parts that are fallen apart, while other cases are pure plastic surgery. I have been in, I'm a, a plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in private practice in Vintuk, yes, you can believe it, for 21 years now. Um, the spectrum of my work is actually to, um, to fields that are quite far apart. On the one part, it is the pure plastic surgery, that's the cosmetic part of it, that's the beauty part of it, and then the rest it is the reconstructive part of my job, for instance like burn surgery, um, I do a lot of um, babies with cleft lip and pellets, we see patients who was involved in car accidents, um, I do a lot of cancer surgery, I do breast surgery, um, I do tummy tucks for all these ladies who had three or four babies with a lot of excess skin. Um, I do liposuctions for your saddlebags or whatever fat you don't you have that you not to you that you don't like very much. Helen van Rensburg, who is 67 years old, is from Vinduk and she says she has been going for Botox for more than 10 years. She also adds that this is to improve areas on her face. She says, I go for Botox and fillers and don't spend more than $5,000 to $7,000 per annum for the same. I have been Dr. Kruger's patient for more than 10 years now. She said the treatments have given her confidence. The benefits of the treatments are obviously to improve problem areas on the face giving you more confidence and you need fewer other beauty treatments, Van Rensburg said. But there are chances of side effects, warns Aesthetic Center Olympia's Dr. Jonathan Joffe. He says dangers associated with Botox procedures are that of fillers entering the artery and even causing blindness. I'm an ophthalmologist and um, I've had a special interest in aesthetic medicine. Um, uh, Partly starting with, with, with treating, uh, treating around the eyes with aesthetics and um, uh, treating, starting with treatment of dry eye, we, uh, we use special light and laser treatments um, which uh, are also used in aesthetics. Um, we, we do, I do uh, botulinum toxin treatments and Fillet treatments, threads, facial threading, that type of uh, um, procedure. I think any, any, any procedure has, has, has potential risks. Um, botulinum toxin, the, the, risk, the risks are generally, uh, let's say, non-life-threatening, non, non non, uh, and, and usually not permanent. But uh, you can get a drooping eyelid. Um, uh, you can sometimes get uh, uh, a type of an allergic response to anything. So 
the, although that's regarded as one of the less invasive treatments, there are risks. There's risk to filler treatments. Um, but, but you know, if, if if any if these are all done by trained people or trained doctors, um, we we generally can avoid the, the major risk. There is a risk of filler entering a uh, entering an artery and even even causing blindness. It can happen. But um, if, if done in the correct way, the, the, the other risks are extremely low. Um, using facial dermal threads um, generally has a low risk. Uh, I think um, uh, you know, the, the, basically if things are done correctly, one can, one can, one can say the risk is, is really low. I'm a esthetician and uh, for some people that don't know what that is, it's a medical skincare therapist. So we'll offer everything um, related skincare, um, starting from the scalp, um, can go all the way down to the big toenail. Alright, so it usually depends on what you, what the client presents, what they want treated. So the cost can be anything from 500 to 5000 and more. I think, let's say for instance, if someone would like to reduce, um, you would have a bit of a like refreshed look in the face, so a wrinkle relaxing injection, which is also known as your Botox, um, can be anything from 800 to 2000. It depends on how strong the muscle is, how deep um, the, the wrinkle is, um, how old the person is, the condition of the skin. So there's lots of different factors and usually we see an average about 50 to 55 clients a week and um, gosh I think more or less it was around 230 per month mm -hmm. and then if you average that over the year it'll come too close to 3000 about and this is the whole spectrum of treatments. Some women opt for non-surgical procedures. Taimi Amakutua who's from Aranyamund, runs Namibia Body Sculpture, a practice that many Vindu women go to for buttock lifting, breast lifting, and hip dips. Amakutua told the Namibian that she started her business after seeing a gap in the market for non-surgical procedures. So um, I have a big interest in the beauty industry, especially cosmetics, diet and nutrition. And as more and more Namibians are opting for surgical procedures to lose weight or to do breast and back lifts, I saw a gap in the market for safer options which don't have um, negative lasting effects and that are more affordable. Most people have taken an interest in doing our procedures because they have uh, no negative lasting effects. They are safer, more affordable, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic where people are suffering from obesity, which can lead to lifestyle, the risk of lifestyle diseases. Um, they are a safer option. Chuna Kawapirura has been using Amakutua's treatments for a year. She told the Namibian that after her second child, she wanted to tighten up her stomach skin area. Um, the main reason why I opted for body sculptures is because um, as a new mom, um, you know, your, your stomach area tends to get um, flabby, you know, after delivery, you know, even after losing weight and all that. So I really needed it to tighten up my, um, my stomach area and um, also my waist as well. Obviously, you know, it expands and everything and also like a lot of meat sits there. Um, so one of the reasons why I opted for them is to is to tighten my skin and um, burn the fat around that area. Not all treatments are voluntary, nor are they only confined to women. At the tender age of just 16, Laura Uyuni was being over-sexualized by men and boys. She had then decided to go under the knife and reduce her breasts. Uyuni, who is now 21 years of age, is a clinical psychology student at the University of Namibia. She spent 40,000 Namibian dollars on the procedure. 25-year-old Colin Rettman from Swakobund had a breast reduction in March this year, a year after giving birth. Sylvia Makra from Rehoboth said that after she had to have her left breast removed 13 years ago because of cancer, 
She had plastic surgery to replace it because she felt unhappy and unlike a full woman. The new breast cost her about 48,000 Namibian dollars. I'm tested positive 13 years ago for breast cancer. I lost my breast uh, due to the cancer. Uh, I go through chemotherapy for 10 months and the cancer treatment for five years. Um, I do an implant with Dr. Susan Greer. The cost was 48,000 million dollars. The reason why I do an implant is for more confidence because I lost my confidence as a woman because um, it was a nice. Uh, Dr. Susan Creer do the implant, I was happy with it and up to now I don't have a problem with my breast. My message to ladies with breast cancer, stay positive, concentrate on the good things in life and um, accept cancer. Thank you so much.